if you want information on the latest version of Next Software that came out today from DxO, this is the video for you. Hi guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Nick collection. We're inside of ColorFX Pro 4 which is one of the Nick collection plugins and one thing I want to point out to you, we've got a whole bunch of new presets. This is a preset called Even on a Cloudy Day and it's one of the features inside the software that allows you to just get some idea of what you can do with a photograph like this using some of the features inside the software. There's another preset called Clarity Bump, which I really like. That's the before and that's after. There are 10 of these new presets inside of the ColorFX Pro. They're called the On Vogue presets. And if we go back, you can see that some of the older presets are still there as well. Some of the more funky presets from previous days are still around. I think the new presets generally tend to be a lot more usable than some of the older ones. And I think if you're new to this software, you're gonna like the these presets, you're gonna find them useful. The main new feature inside the software are the presets. And also we've got better support for high DPI, high resolution monitors inside of Windows. That was there already for Mac. The other major new thing is a completely different piece of software, which is now being bundled in with Nick Collection. You're now looking at Photolab Essential, and this is other software that's included within Nick Collection. It's a raw editor and image manager. And when you open up a folder like this, you'll get an option to download some optics, what it calls DxO optics modules. Let's double click on one of the images and this takes us into the customize module and this allows us to carry out simple edits on our raw file. So you can go ahead and I'm just going to take a look at the installed optics and as you can see I've installed quite a lot of different optics, cameras and lenses for different cameras including fairly recent ones like the Nikon Z6. They actually claim to have optics for the Panasonic S1 and other very, very recent cameras. So this is pretty impressive. We can, if we want to download anything. So if I want to, I can go to download additional optics. And here we've got the iPhones, we've got the Canon cameras. Let's download, let's see if we can get Panasonic S1. There we are, Panasonic S1, S1R. Let's click on next. As you can see, we've got optics for JPEGs and RAW files. Let's tick on a couple of those. Click next, next, and we can download these for lens correction. This is pretty impressive. It's obviously very up to date and it's one of the things you're gonna be, uh, I think, looking for when you upgrade your DxO NIC software collection. I have to say I found optics for cameras and lenses that I've never been able to find inside of Lightroom. This image here was a very quick edit. It just required for the most part just this one thing just to fix this huge underexposure. And as you can tell, it's detected a face correctly exposed for the face. And we've got this massive improvement just from that one particular setting inside of Photo Labs Express. Another thing I really liked was the noise reduction. So we've got raw noise reduction. This is before. This is after. Again, a single click, very, very impressive. And the software is pretty responsive. One thing to point out is that if you try to edit a Fujifilm X-Trans photograph, this is what you're gonna get. It doesn't process the Fujifilm X-Trans. Uh, photographs. This is an image that I worked on earlier. This is one that was actually taken into the Nick software collection, which you can do by clicking here and you can see the old familiar Nick collection plugins. We're going to cancel out. And what I want to show you is that the software is really responsive. This is a huge file, but I have no trouble. We can do a comparison. 
that's before, that's after. I also want to show you, you can do local adjustments and these local adjustments end up looking very similar to the Nick collection, what they call the U point masking system. But I think the whole point about this is that it does allow you now to edit inside of the Nick software collection without having a third party piece of software. If you don't want that, if you do want that, you can go ahead and export to Lightroom, export to another application. But I think it's a really cool thing that they do now have this new um, addition to the Nick collection, which allows us to manage our raw files without having to jump around using different software if we don't want to do that. So that's basically going to be it for this video. I hope you found some of that useful. Um, there is quite a lot to take in with the new software. It's not just new presets. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. And I hope this was a really good introduction. If you liked it, share the video with someone else who might like it. Leave a comment, rate the video. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.